Sir Lawrence Almanadima was a Dutch-born British painter who specialized in classical and historical scenes, particularly from ancient Rome and Greece. Born on January 8, 1836, in Dronrich, Netherlands, his family moved to Belgium when he was just four years old, and it was there that he spent most of his formative years. He showed an early aptitude for drawing and painting and studied at the Antwerp Academy of Fine Arts, where he was heavily influenced by the work of Jean-Auguste Monique Angra and the Pre-Raphaelites. Alma de Dima's early works were primarily historical and mythological scenes, often set in ancient Greece or Rome, and were characterized by a high degree of accuracy and detail. He was particularly interested in capturing the minutiae of everyday life in these cultures, including their clothing, architecture, and customs. This attention to detail would become a hallmark of his work throughout his career. In 1863, Almada Dima moved to London, where he quickly established himself as a leading painter of classical and historical subjects. His works were highly sought after by collectors and received critical acclaim from the art establishment. He became a member of the Royal Academy in 1879 and was knighted in 1899 in recognition of his contributions to the arts. Almada Dima's paintings were notable for their use of vivid colors and exquisite lighting. He often painted in a bright, naturalistic style, using rich blues, greens, and golds to evoke the warm, sun-drenched landscapes of the Mediterranean. His use of light was particularly effective, often creating a sense of dramatic contrast between light and shadow to emphasize the details of his subjects. One of Almada Dima's most famous works is The Roses of Heliogabalus, 1888, which depicts a lavish banquet held by the Roman Emperor Heliogabalus. The painting shows the emperor reclining on a couch, surrounded by guests and attendants, while rose petals rain down from the ceiling. The composition is highly detailed, with the clothing, jewelry, and architecture all accurately rendered. The painting was a huge success when it was first exhibited, and it remains one of Almata Dima's most popular works today. Another notable work by Alma de Dima is The Meeting of Antony and Cleopatra, 1885, which depicts the famous lovers in a sumptuous palace interior. The painting is notable for its attention to detail, particularly in the clothing and furnishings, which are all based on historical research. The composition is also notable for its use of light, with the figures of Antony and Cleopatra illuminated by a warm, golden glow. In addition to his historical and mythological scenes, Alma de Dima also painted a number of contemporary genre scenes, particularly of Victorian domestic life. These works were characterized by the same attention to detail and use of vivid color as his historical paintings. One of his most famous works in this genre is The Picture Gallery, 1874, which depicts a young woman admiring a collection of paintings in a luxurious Victorian interior. Alma de Dima was a highly successful and influential painter during his lifetime, and his works continue to be admired and studied today. He died on June 25, 1912, in Wiesbaden, Germany, at the age of 76. His legacy lives on in the many artists who have been inspired by his work, as well as in the numerous collections and exhibitions that continue to showcase his remarkable talent and vision. So guys this is it for today's video. I hope it could be a big help to you. Share your views in the comments section down below. Don't forget to click the bell icon and thanks for watching.